What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeff, back in with another video. And today I wanna to talk about an app that is called Moonlight. Now this app allows you to play your PC games off your main PC computer, as long as it has an Nvidia video card. You can stream and play your games through your mobile device, whether it's an iPad, whether it's an Android mobile phone, whether it's an iPhone, this app is available for iOS devices and Android devices. So you could connect to your Android device, a PS4 controller, or if you have an iPad, you're gonna have to use a certified controller for iOS devices, uh, cause it does not accept um, the PS4. But if you have an Android, which that's gonna do today, I'm gonna use it on an Android um, tablet and Android phone so I could connect it through my PS4 controller. Now, you could stream and play your games through your mobile devices. That is exciting. So we're gonna try that out. I'll teach you guys how to do it. Moonlight is the app, so let's check it out. Okay guys, so here in front of the computer. And first thing we're gonna do is go to, you know, just Google Moonlight Streaming Download. And here it goes, it's called moonlightstream.org. So we're gonna download the Moonlight app first on the computer, your host, where you have your games at. Right now I'm using this laptop. I have there it goes, PC 101, which is the latest, right? It was released 15 days ago, supposedly, so let's take this one down. I hit it right here. There it goes, it starts downloading from here. So just look further down. It says the Moonlight X64. So most of the machines, Windows 10 are X64. Now guys, mm -hmm. like I said before, you need an NVIDIA video card because you're gonna be using the experienced um, part of the NVIDIA card. So you have a 10 series, nine series, you know, you're gonna have to open GeForce Experience, update it to the fullest. I hope it I already opened it here. If you don't know, you just go to the video.com and download um, GeForce Experience. You scan your games, blah, blah, blah. Cause it uses the Shield streaming driver. Just update it, update the drivers cause it helps. And now you're gonna go here to settings, game streaming, everything is cool man so everything is cool right one thing we have to do see here we say shield click on shield and we're gonna have allow the pc to stream games to shield make sure that's on all right make sure that's on so we got this here through settings this comes out games that come here i see all my games here i got 17 games you know and shield make sure the game streaming is on now we go back here, remember that I downloaded Moonlight, so, which I have right here on my downloads. Set up 101. Uh -huh, I agree. Install. Click on yes. And let Moonlight install. Now, we're going to launch it. So for I heard this used to be like owned by Limelight. I don't know if you guys remember Limelight. I used to do the MP3 sharing. So <laughs> that's, that's old school right there. So I think it used to be owned by Limelight, this software. Anyway, so we're gonna click on the desktop. It says it's locked. It says unlock it, so it has a little number here, 1968 to unlock it. I'll put 1968, connect. And baboon. It should connect to my desktop. Now, we're going to go here. See what I did here? I went to settings over here, the little settings button over here. And I'm going to pick, uh, I want to play it at 1080p. You know, so you could go higher if you wish, but this specific laptop goes to 1080p anyway, so 60 frames a second at 20 megabits bit rate. They say to take off VSync and supposedly, you know, it could stream better, but let's leave VSync on and, I, you know, I could compare it. Stereo speakers or whatnot, ba-boom. So we got this part of it set up, right? Now, I'm going to get my tablet. Now, you can use your Android phone or your Android tablet. 
or you could use an iPad or an iPhone. Now, if you use a iPhone or an iPad, you need to get a iPad compatible controller. Now, you use an Android phone, you can use your good old, if you have a PS4 laying around, this is my PS4, I can use it through Bluetooth. So you gotta do it. So that's why I'm gonna go with the tablet, but you could do it with your iPad or iPhone as long as you have a compatible controller to control it, you know? So I got in my tablet, I write in um, streaming, whatever, Moonlight Game Streaming. Search it, and there it goes. I already have it installed, it's 4.5. So what it looks like, it looks like a cut up lemon. So open it up, I already installed it. So you just go through the installation, boom, it installs, we're gonna open it now. And right now it's searching for the J-Man PC, which is my original desktop that I had downstairs. But now I'm gonna use this desktop that I, we just set up, right? My laptop, so we're gonna add, right? Now we could do this manually. Try to get the IP address of the desktop that's gonna be the host. Just write IP, this comes out. And then here you just write IP config. And right here you get the IP address, which is IPv4 address, which is 192.168.1.29, as you can see right here. So now that we have that, <clears throat> we could go over here. So we turn on our system here. And I added it by writing the IP. So under the run, 192.168.1.29. And done. And there it goes right here. Now it's locked, though. You see it? It's locked. So we're going to click it once. And you're going to say, please enter this following pin on the PC. See that? 7139. So we're going to go here to the PC and we're going to add it here. See the little, the little thing popped up here on the right hand side? So we're going to add 7139 and it should connect. Boom. Nice. So look, connected. So there are all the games. Sorry for the camera here, it's not really holding up the way it's supposed to, but it's better than nothing. All right, guys, so let's turn this baby on here. See all the games here. right now. All the games showed up on my laptop, right? On my iPad. So let's pick a game. But let's do uh, Mortal Kombat. See how it works. Right here. This is carbon copy. And I have the controller here. So I'm hit the A button. One player. Let's skip all this. One thing I do recommend, guys. Have your PC, your main PC connected to a landline. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, you know, they're both connected to the internet. It's working fine, but if the main PC was to be connected to a landline, which usually is the best, you shall be getting even better results. I'm getting, it's perfect. It's playing perfect, no lag. I mean, you know, because I'm doing it with my thing. I don't, don't want to be blocking the... But hey, it's looking beautiful, man. It is great. Sucking the game, but it's doing its thing. Play your games exactly as intended with your iPad. So you could take this to your bedroom, to another. You could, if you set up your router, um, you could play it outside of your house too. So as you leave your PC on, and it works great. It works on a. I could use this on my phone. Like per se, I wanted to use this on here on my regular phone, which is Android. I could use it and connect this to my Android too, and even a smaller screen. So I could do it here, which I'm gonna try it out. You know what? Why not? Let's try this together. Let's try this together, guys. All right, let's try this. So let me get out of this right here. Close this right here. All right. 
and let's go and do this together. So I moonlight. Are you screaming? Oh, there's the one of the controllers. So we have this. We open it. Now let's get out of this game right here. Okay, so we're gonna hit here. Pairing right now is four seven five nine on my PC, so I have to go to my PC four seven five nine like I showed you guys before. Let's connect. And I'm listening. there goes all my games, baby. So like I said, it works on the phone too. Um, and I gotta go through the whole thing. Well, I gotta verify that it works, but I have to connect a controller to it. That's why I don't want to do it. But let's just see if it works, man. Even though if I don't play it. But let's go to the settings first. That's right. Let's go to the settings because I have to see. Um, I want to play these games at 1080p. So let's see if I go back here and go to settings and video resolution. See, it kind of like defaults at 720. So I want to do 1080. Did I do 1080? Yeah, let's do 1080. Uh, video framework at 60, which is perfect. And uh, I said the bit rate should be not uh, 20, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So now we can go back. Uh, you know, do the desktop and look at the games and let's see uh, whatever. Good. Whatever experience that we have. Let's say quick game and restart it. I want to establish a connection to the world. But there goes Mortal Kombat on my phone. And it will play as soon as I connect this baby to it, which I haven't done. But, you know, you connect your thing and you play it beautiful. So anyway, guys, till next time is your boy Jeff. 